True Believers, this is Dr. T and welcome to my comic book channel. Today I have another CGC unboxing. Stay tuned. In this box I have five fast-tracked modern tiered books that were received by CGC on January 20th and they arrived today as I'm filming this on February 24th so just over a month to get these five books back with back with me as of today the current turnaround time for the fast track modern tier is 90 days and of course we know on on the CGC website when it says 90 days that means 90 business days so this was a wicked fast return for these five books and I do remember that in here I have a, I have an amazing Spider-Man uh, 361, a first Carnage. I have a Moon Knight number one from 1980, and I really don't remember the other three books. And I haven't wanted to look them up because I don't want to see the grade. I don't know the grade. I have no idea, and I'm just hoping for the best. So let's get into this box. So the five books came in this package. Very, very sturdy, very secure. This was from U UPS. There was just a little dent here on the side right there, but, but no big deal. Some cards just fell out of the box. And so I have the five books right here. Again, I do not know the grade. And so let's see what we have. So the first book that we have is a Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number one from 1994. I guessed this book to come back a 9.4. It had been pressed. I sent it in. I'm hoping that what it is, so let's see. And it came back a 9.8. And if you stick around at the end of the video, <laughs> that's crazy. That's awesome. That's awesome. This was pressed by by Fresh8032 on Instagram, and he does an amazing job. If you stick around to the end of the video, geez, if you stick around to the end of the video, end of the video, I'm gonna have GPA, the GPA data on all of these books. The the LCS that I bought this from, gosh, back in back in the summer, might have been June or July, I really don't remember. Uh, they had this book listed as a near mint minus book. So the fact that it was pressed up to a 9.8, uh, it, is, it is a very sharp copy. It just had one tiny, one tiny flaw on the spine, but that was really it. But that, that is a huge win right there. And I bought this book with the intent to sell, and that's going to be awesome. So this is Kanan the Last Padawan. I had bought this book from an eBay seller months ago, last summer. Advertises a near a near mint mint book. When it came, there was no way it was a near mint mint book. Uh, I did not have this book pressed. I didn't think it needed it because the defects on the spine were such that it was they were color breaking and weren't gonna. Uh, do much. So I'm hoping this is a 9.4. If it's anything less than that, it's going to be a loss, but I'll just hold on to this book until until uh, these characters, Kanan and and the, the Rebels team uh, uh, pops up. So here we go. Three, two, one. And a 9.6. Can't complain about that. Cannot complain about that. That's awesome. That's fantastic for this book. Wow. Good. Good. Yeah, just some color, some uh, a couple color breaking ticks on the front and back, but it's a very sharp copy, and I am thrilled with with that grade. Whoo! Two good ones. Let's keep going here. What do we have here? All right. Here's the Moon Knight number one. Bought this back last March, I believe. Bought it raw. <sighs> it was advertised on eBay to be near mint mint when I bought it. Of course, it wasn't. weren't enough pictures. The seller was very reputable, but with only uh, a few pictures, I can't remember how many there were, but not very many. I'm hoping this book is an 8.5. It was pressed, 
and lowest 8.5, highest 9.2. I really have no idea with this one. There are some flaws on the spine that I really wasn't sure what to do with. I've talked about this book before in past vid videos from months ago, but let's see. Three, two, one. <laughs> And that's a 9.4. Boy, I am just undergrading these. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. I will take that all day long. Just this bottom corner right here. I'm gonna, I want to be transparent with you with, with, with what this book look like. looks like. The bottom corner there, it's not a very sharp cut. And so with that blunting as well as some um, some flaws on the spine like right here in the white. And again, I, I've shown this book in past videos. And look at, you won't be able to see that, but in, in one of my past videos, I went through all the defects of this book actually. And some people thought, no, that's not more than a VF plus, so an 8.5, or that's not more than a, than a VF near mint. And lo and behold, here we have a 9.4. So for me, this is, <laughs> this is three for three so far. But we still haven't gotten to the ASM 361, which really needs to be a 9.8. And I'll talk about that once we get there. So here, here, here is the ASM 361. I bought this back in June at an LCS in Colorado, and I didn't make a video of it. And I thought this was a, a, a very sharp, spicy copy. It did have, uh, I, be, I made a video of, of this, and I showed the book uh, very detailed in the video. It has just some manufacturing defects on the back that I'll show you once I reveal the grade. This needs to be a 9.8 because this was not cheap raw. I'll just tell you. This cost 625 raw and and at the time I should have sent it in express but I was hesitant, cold feet, thinking, "Oh, what if it doesn't come back in 9.8? I don't want to spend over $100 to get it to get it graded by CGC and come back uh, come back lower than a 98 after paying over $700 with the with the the grading and the cost of the comic. So, I've just held on to it too long and I'm hoping just to basically break even make maybe make a few dollars. There was a recent sell on eBay of this book in a 9.8 for over $900. That would be fantastic, but but let's see. Oh, this is this is the big one that I really want to be a 9.8, but but let's see, because I bought it thinking this is a 9.8, but it very well could be a 9.6. Here we go. Three, two, one. Boom! Yeah! Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Ah! Oh. Just held on to this, this thing for months, hoping that that's what it would come back. Mmm! That's four for four. Sorry, got a little excited there. My last two CGC unboxings have also been bangers, so if you haven't checked those ones out, please go and check out those videos. I mean, this has been amazing, these last few unboxings. And on the back there, see right there, there is that manufacturing defect that is common in these ASM 361, 361s. And then there's, there's another one right there normally the back has like two, or, or one, excuse me, whereas this one has two of those manufacturing defects. But this is a sharp, sharp newsstand copy. Look at that, first full appearance of Carnage. Very nice. So when I bought this sucker raw, I knew that's what it was. I'm glad I had the eye for it. Uh, back on that video, you see right here, I'll, I'll post a picture of that. I bought this from a comic shop in Colorado from... Lee Kirby Ditko Comics, and his shop is incredible, absolutely incredible. In in I believe it was Westminster, Colorado, just outside of Denver. So that is a huge win right there. All right, here is Thor number eight. This is where it's revealed that Jane, and I did, I did not see the grade. No, oh, we got, we got, we got papers here on the front. Let me get that. So this is Thor number eight. This is where uh, Jane Foster is revealed to be Thor. I bought this raw at an LCS in San Diego visiting my parents last Christmas. And I thought this was a 9.8. It could be a 9.6. There was some, there was some just stuff 
just just down here on on the corner that I, there was a little bit, tiny bit of rub down there but other than that this was a minty copy crispy minty copy of this book hoping it's a 9.8 here we go three two one boom mmm five for five oh yes ah okay Okay, that was exciting. Let's get into the GPA data of these five books. Huge win, everybody. Huge win right here with these five book true believers. Let's get into it. Let's start with the Thor number eight. So as it says right here, Jane Foster revealed as the new Thor. I love this cover. I'm actually tempted to, to keep this in the PC, but I bought it with the intent to sell it. So I, I don't know, I'm gonna have to decide what to do. And all every one of these books, the cost of grading plus the $13.50 with my 10% off as a CGC member uh, to get them graded was $35.10. That's what I have. So this book cost me $40 plus $35.10. So, so we're up to $75.10 plus of course the shipping to and from add another, add another seven, eight dollars. So now we're just over $80. And according to GPA, the last five sales of this book were on February 9th for $175, February 8th, $100, February 6th, $150, January 25th, $150, and then a low, a low sale on January 16th for $79. But if I do sell this, I'm planning on holding, I'm planning on holding on to this book until we see more uh, information about. Uh, Natalie Portman as Jane Foster and possible a Thor Love and Thunder trailer, then we're going to see, we're definitely going to see an uptick in this book. And the 90 day average for this book is $136. So ASM 361, first appearance of Carnage in the newsstand. Oh, I am just so hyped about this getting the 9.8. So this has recent sales uh, on February 22nd of $940. February 22nd, $1,000. February 22nd, $900. February 21st, $850. February 13th, $810. February 11th, $775. There have been eight, 18 newsstand copies of this book so far this year, according to GPA. The 90-day average right now is $844. And of course, the 12-month average is $1,192. So it's gone down quite a bit. I'm just happy to hopefully just be able to get my money back, maybe make 50 bucks. Because with 625 plus the $35 cost of grading fees, uh, so now we're up to 660 uh, plus shipping to and from. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'll, I'll take that and hopefully make just a few bucks on this, get my money back, either just put it back in the bank account or put it towards some other books. I don't know if I mentioned the the purchase price of this. It was one sixty seven fifty when my brother in law my brother in law and I purchased this back like last March one sixty seven fifty. So again, hopefully this is a break even book. I thought we were going to take a loss, so I'm just excited to break even on this sucker, and and so I'll take it. So recent sales of this two on February twenty third for two hundred and twenty dollars. February 21st, 191, February 20th, 174, February, February 20th, uh, 285, another on February 20th, 179. Wow, those prices are all over the place right there. The 90-day average for this book is $210. So it's, it's definitely going up and this is gonna be, I'm gonna be um, listing this either on eBay, on Instagram, uh, short box, I don't know, but one, one of these places, it's gonna be listed. And uh, before before Moon Knight uh, comes to Disney Plus, and so I'm I'm really really pleased with 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 this grade. Here's the direct edition of Kanan, the Last Padawan, number one, and we have a, a slew of first appearances. So Kanan Jarrus, Ezra Bridger, Chopper, Hera Syndulla, Sabine Wren, Zeb Aurelius, and I watched this series, really liked it, so it's really nice to actually have this book, but this is not a keeper. This is one I bought to sell. I believe my purchase price for, for this last summer was like $100 raw, which is a lot to buy raw. So this, I'm just happy to possibly break even on this book. Really, you think, why are you so happy to break even? Because it's just a good experience. Buy it raw, assess the grade, determine if this is worth sending in to CGC, send it in, send it in, get it back a 9.6, and I'm okay with that. I, I am okay with having fun with the hobby 
even though sometimes I'm not going to get a profit. But I'm going to hold on to this until these characters uh, pop up in Star Wars on Disney Plus and see what the book does from there. So on February 21st, this had a sale of 140. February 11th, 166. February 7th, 149. February 5th, 145. January 30th, 145. The 90-day average is 155, and it is on the uptick. And so I'm going to hold on to this just for a little bit, but very pleased with this grade. Of these five books, I think this is the one I might be most excited about. Saban's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number one. It says Power Up Trading Card Included. I mean, I really was thinking this was a 9.4. It came back a 9.8. My luck as of late has been really good, but is it all luck? No, there is some skill involved, but there's definitely luck involved as well for all of you who have submitted books before. You have a good eye. You get something lower or something higher. I mean, there, there, there is some luck involved, but this one is a big win for me. Big win. Um, I'm going to make a little... All of none, I'm not losing money on any of these. I'm making money on some of them, but especially this one. So recent sales of this, February 12th and a 9.8, $268, February 10th, 248, February 10th, 295, February 7th, 280, February 2nd, 310, February 2nd, 315. So this is a this has had 11 sales this year in a 9.8. It has a 90-day average of $300, even though the last sale was 268. So 20 bucks at the LCS. $35 to have it graded fast track. So now we're up to $55. And so I could be up, I'm up about $200 on this book. I know I know eBay seller's fees and such will bring it lower than that, but essentially up $200, big win, big CGC unboxing everybody. I mean, look, look at this. Look, just, 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 just look, just look one more time at these. Look at these. Look at how nice these are with all the glare. 9.8s, 9.8s, it's raining 9.8s of these really awesome books. And as always, true believers, remember comics for life. <laughs>